jank little moment. Recording this with my HDP VR because we got it working again. I think the HDP HDP VR has the best standard definition capture card. Is is the best standard definition capture card because it also has component cables to make it a HD capture card on the back. Like it came with component cables and I got fixing again. I got working again. It's just gonna record off um like. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, and then World, Super Mario World for the Virtual Console for the NES games, and that one SNES game for World. Yeah, other than that, it records perfectly fine without having skipping frames or dropping audio or black, blank pause screens that are black or flickering black screens or anything like that. So yeah, I'm also recording this with my, um, Boost Snowball mic that we use for Super Nintendo's videos for group commentaries. I feel that I have it set up where it's right in front of my mouse and I have a chair and it's on a chair and it's right in front of me. So yeah. And we're gonna use that because hopefully my voice is actually clearer and I don't have that, um, I'm louder a bit too because I'll amplify the sound and it's awesome. Anyway, here's my team. Everyone, as you can see, is level 70, you know, Lightning is level 70, Venus, Hero, Dragoon, Flame, Wakamo, you know. So let's go on to the summaries. As I said, I trained all my Pokemon up to level 70 for the rematch of the Leaf Boy, so I did. And yeah, there's the stats on that. Thunderbolt, Thunder, Shockwave, and Thunder Wave. Um, I, I taught Thunder Wave, or Thunderbolt, because I wanted to. Yeah, sorry for the, um, stare noises and my stuff while I was up, I guess. But anyway, oh, well, I, I should just worry about Steven or Grodel or Giant Grodel. Anyway, so now we're going to Giga Drain. <laughs> now we're going to Venus. Now it's Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Sweet. Um, Sweet Powder, or Solar Beam, and then Sweet Powder. Um, Hero has Brick Break, Psychics, um, Secret Power, and Shadow Ball. I taught it Secret, uh, I taught it Shadow Ball by, um, spending like 4,500 coins, I think, at the Pokemon, or at the Game Corner, and coins to buy the TM30 for Shadow Ball, and it was a good buy, you know? Dragoon has, you knows Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Ice Beam, and Surf. Again, I taught TM13 Ice Beam also at the, Game Corner, I think, for like 2,500, somewhere on there, um, coins, and it was a good buy too. I, I just don't want to have to rely on Blizzard, then I have a strategy in mind. Really wait for for that. And then Flame, I have Flamethrower, Blast Burn, Fire Blast, and Fly, nothing really changed there. Uh, Wacko Mars, Earthquake, Hyper Beam, Rock Slide, and then went Fissure at like level 64, 65, I can't remember, but somewhere in there. It's a one hit KO move, as you see right here. See, it's like, if it hits, then the full faints automatically, if it hits. But it's only 30% of the time. And there's background noise, because the streets and I'm recording this at night. Yeah, I have lighting up front, and the Venus also in the second part, even though the second part of the party doesn't really matter. Yeah, um, I'm gonna do what I did in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in my walkthrough. I bought s just these items, you know, like the basic 16... Four stories, three max potions. I have hyper potions, ten super potions, and all that. And I have three max revives. Got those other PC revives, ten and repels. I really don't need, and then my eth elixir and ether items if I need more moves. So with that all said, I'm not going to heal during any of the any of the battles unless I really have to. But I'll just tell you when that happens if I get really bad luck with quick or something. But after all that jazz, and I'll pop up a text of wait. Um, just up to this point where you can just skip the video and up to this point, we are going in to the Elite Four room, first Elite Four room. Okay, from here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Okay, let's go. Sorry for all the rambling, I just wanted to get all that out of the way. It's really great, and my quality should be clearer with my HDP VR, um, and me doing, and it just has a better standard definition capture card. And it, the front is the standard definition, the back is the HD. Awesome. Anyway, welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Loilai. I'm gonna call you Loilai, because the first part of her name is the Lore. Loilai, okay. Loilai of the Leaf War have returned. Yeah, that made more sense of what I said all together in one part, but well. You know how it goes. No one can. No one can best me when it comes to the icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. You frozen. Your, po your Pokemon will be frozen. Well, dang it. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they're frozen solid. Haha, -ha, are you ready? Ah, there we go with the dialogue again. Ah, it just never changes. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited. I'm almost done with this walkthrough guy completely. I've, all, I've done the whole after game almost in the whole. I've done the whole main game, of course. And I'm ready. 
And now for my test run, I did do a test run of the week before I got all the I did half of it. I got all the way to halfway this till the second half of it, I guess that. Because I wanted to save the rest of it, um a challenge for me because I wanted to do that blind with my moves and my level balances and all that. So with your dugout, I'm just gonna use two shockwaves. Shockwave always hurt always hits uh, no matter what, unless you're in there underwater or underground. As I said that before a lot in my previous walkthroughs actually. And oh I've never seen actually surf. I've seen them use ice beam and double team. I mean double beam is just annoying, but I have shockwave. So this is gonna be an easy feint. I should start calling Pokemon like kills, because it makes more sense because faints, you know, is too nice. And I know people refer to them as dying when they faint, you know, other people. I won't name names, but you know. It's okay though, it's your preference. So now Poliswine. Um, instead of Slowbro this time around, she has a Poliswine, which is a Jota Pokemon. All the Elite Four members have, um, new, well, at least one or two Jota Pokemons added to the party. At least. So, I'll point this out when they happen, if I can remember them. Uh, one Giga Drain, I remember to my test run, fainted this Poly once, Poliswine. It's part ground, so it'll be weak against, um, ice, or not, uh, neutrally weak to ice, okay. But, grass even. And then also, um, I think water. Possibly and definitely fire, so that's really cool. But then fire is weak to ground, but grass still works for some reason. Okay, for Corister, Corister was a kind of a big pain, but there's another Pokemon in the party that was more pain. Um, I'm gonna go with a Sweet Powder and you missed. I'm gonna go with the Sweet Powder and freaking Solar Beam combo, but I should just done the Solar Beam right off the bat. Ah, uh, I should have done that. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and s please hope that. Ah, uh, so should I risk sleep powder? Or should I risk a solar beam and then using Coister's rain dance? Even though that doesn't delay the solar beam. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the sleep powder. Okay, thank you, thank you for hurting. Thank you so much for hurting. Now, if this thing's wake us up within the next two turns, I am done for with this with my Venus and Venus will be out for the battle. I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna hopefully stay asleep. Stay asleep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're doing good. Okay, this should one hit KO it in, like I did in my test run. So, it's always good to do some test runs if you're not sure, so it all works out in the end. So there we go, we got the coaster. Now, is Lapras next? Yes, it is. Okay, um... Ah, uh, Lapras. Hang on. I'm gonna keep Venus in. I know it's a risky move, and Lapras is just a pain. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I don't. I guess I can use another Giga Drain just to, just to regain health. Yeah, that seems right. I I'm not saying that I'll live through this one with my Venus, but we'll see. I, okay, I could use another Giga Drain. That 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 would work. But then the Ice Beam. If she uses Ice Beam, oh, we're gonna have to hold on here. We're gonna have to hold on here. Good. And I'm not gonna live it. Oh, I knew it. Ah. Oh, okay. Have they be smart? I think Lightning can faint this with a Thunderbolt. If it doesn't, I am totally just stuck. Yeah. But we'll see. This should faint, I'm pretty confident about it. Yeah, there we go, okay. I got all that mess. There we go. Now, is Jinx the only one left? Okay, Jinx, okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna send a flame out for the Jinx, cause it's Ice and Psychic, you know. It's weak, um, to fire, you know, it's super effective. Uh, fire is super effective to Jinx, because Ice type. It's part Ice type. Half Ice, I guess you could say. I'm gonna just use a flamethrower. I think a flamethrower would just knock this thing out. So. I goes with the first battle. I'm sorry for it to be a little lengthy. I do have my over 15 minute time limit back, which I'm so grateful for. I have it back. So, I hope this video didn't drag on too long. I mean, I'm sorry if it did. But, we got through it. That's all that matters. Okay. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Yeah, you said that basically last time. The second part of their dialogue is basically the same. 